knowing the connection between cancer and, and the immune system, do you look at boosting or regulating the immune system? Oh, absolutely. Yep. In most cancers, in like blood-borne cancers, you don't necessarily do that. Mm -hmm. But in, in most cancers, yes, you do that. So most solid cancers, you are, you, that is really the approach is to stimulate an immune response to that cancer. Mm -hmm. So how can we use your own body to kill the cancer cells? So in what ways do you do that? And, and tying that into uh, th this next area, what sort of integrative approaches have you had success with? Oh boy. So, I mean, we don't, we don't take just one approach. So everybody's different. So uh, the, way, the way we operate is that if I find a new thing, you know, somebody says, oh, this worked for this, uh, this person's cancer. I go to a seminar and, oh, this is a new cancer killer, blah, blah, blah. And you hear them all the time, right? Um, and most of them are not necessarily true. But I want that in my office to test people on. So we want it to test people on. So what comes up most frequently to help kill cancers, maybe? Um, probably one of the more common things we use is, is uh, medicinal mushrooms. Um, but we use a lot, of, it's, it's really a blend. You know, the laetrile, the hoxy, the, the, um, the polyMVA, the, you know, so we use a lot of different approaches for that because everybody's different. Um, so from a nutraceutical approach, we use a lot of different approaches. Um, we, use, we use frequency medicine on everybody though. So that is rife technology. So that's using light frequencies to help people heal. Mm -hmm. Now everybody's program is different, but we use that on everybody. So that's one thing that makes us unique is the use of frequencies. And so what does that do? Um, well, frequencies are everything. From a quantum physics perspective, all matter is, down as the smallest particle, is simply energy that's vibrating at a specific frequency. Sure. So, so it is with the cancer cell, it's vibrating at a specific frequency. So Reif theorized if you can hit that cancer cell with its own frequency, you could cause cell lysis. Um, and I think that may take place uh, sometimes, but if you hit the cancer at its own frequency, you do a lot of other things too. When you're using light frequency, it's a f light is a photon carried on a wavelength, so you are actually donating an electron to the tissue that you're that you're hitting with its own frequency, and that itself will alkalize the tissue. Um, when you hit anything with its own frequency, you're going to cause it to vibrate. So that will, in itself, cause an immune stimulation. And there's, just, there's probably 35 other theories on why Rife works. And they're probably all right um, in different people. So frequencies can be extremely helpful in the use, you know, in treatment of medicine. And I have patients that say, well, I, I, how can frequencies work? I don't believe in frequencies. And I say, but you just used your cell phone, didn't you? And you have your cell phone, you called somebody, it sent frequencies, your voice via frequencies over to a cell phone tower, up to a satellite, down to another cell phone tower, to that other person's phone and they heard you audibly. And you don't believe in frequencies? <laughs> so frequencies are everything. So if we can harness them and use them to heal, they can be beneficial. And I think it's been a, it's been a key piece to the success that we've seen.